uh, Senator Kyle. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Attorney General, uh, as I understand it, and I'm going to ask you to correct me if I'm wrong, to your knowledge, the administration position on Guantanamo Bay is that while it would be nice if we didn't have the need for it and we'd like to be able to close it, we can't because the terrorists who represent a threat to the United States need to be held somewhere and there are no better alternatives. Almost nobody wants them in the United States. You can't just let them go. Sending them to foreign countries is problematic, among other reasons, uh, for the reasons you discussed. Is that your understanding? And if, if not, uh, what is your understanding? Yes. Do you have any different reasons for desiring to close Gitmo? For example, because there's, to your knowledge or, you, or suspicion, is there anything going on down there that might be a violation of either U.S. law or applicable treaties or conventions? Quite, quite the contrary. I think the people who have gone down there um, um, from this body, from the House, other, other countries have come away favorably impressed with what's going on down there. I just want to associate myself with the uh, remarks of uh, Senator Hatch. Um, I think it, it would be nice if we didn't have to have any prisons for that matter, uh, and it would certainly be good if we didn't have to have a place for these threats to America. But they do have to be held somewhere, and I know of no better alternative than where they're being held right now. Uh, let me ask you this question about a matter that you know I'm very interested in. It's, uh, and, and as a matter of fact, in a related, potentially related uh, matter, there is a, a scandal now brewing with regard to uh, uh, the National Basketball Association. Sports uh, entities in particular, the NFL, Major League Baseball, basketball, the NCAA, uh, amateur athletics, have uh, for a long time been concerned about internet betting, uh, which is illegal under most state laws, and we have our federal laws as well. Uh, you have, uh, and you're aware that on uh, October 13th, the president signed into law the Unlawful Internet Gambling Enforcement Act to augment enforcement efforts by targeting offshore gambling operations that are not readily subject to U.S. prosecution. Um, there are additional existing laws, the Federal Wire Act and money laundering laws that can be and have been used to go after uh, these internet uh, gambling operators. I realize that you can't comment on any existing cases, but uh, I'd like for you to just express to the committee generally what your views are with respect to uh, the department's <coughs> intentions with respect to going after these illegal internet gambling operations. Thank you, <coughs> Senator. Appreciate your leadership on this issue. We do believe it, it's, it's a serious issue uh, because we talk about uh, internet gambling. Uh, it's highly addictive, quite frankly. I think it affects our youth. I think it can be tied to money laundering and fraud, and uh, we think it, uh, it's tied to organized crime. There are existing laws on the books, and we intend and do uh, enforce those laws. There are challenges because of the existing laws, challenges because uh, uh, much of the time the evidence is offshore. I mean, we may have difficult, difficulty in getting the evidence also because it involves another country. We, there are sometimes serious issues of, of extradition. So we appreciate the additional tools of this Internet, uh, Unlawful Internet Gambling Act, um, the, uh, which bans cer certain financial payments uh, to support Internet gambling. And, um, and as you know, Treasury and the Federal Reserve have primary responsibility for the issuance of these regulations after consulting with the Department of Justice. We've provided input, and so uh, my understanding is that those regs are moving forward. Uh, the, the, the regs, um, the proposed regs have been made public. I, I, my question really was a broader one. You have uh, engaged in prosecutions under other laws as well, and um, uh, I was simply giving you an opportunity to express your intentions to continue to uh, enforce all of these laws uh, to the extent that they need to be enforced. We certainly intend to do that. You have my commitment, Senator. Incidentally, I, I may have uh, not been clear in my reference to the NBA. I'm not suggesting that there is evidence of uh, illegal Internet gambling with respect to that, but simply wanted to point out that these uh, uh, sports uh, depend on the public's view that they are unadulterated, that they're, that they're clean, that they are uh, not being affected by uh, illegal forces. 
And that's why they're so supportive of this legislation to make sure that uh, illegal internet gambling does not in any way intrude uh, in, into those sports. And I think Americans have a right to, uh, to have that assurance. Uh, Mr. Attorney General, the FBI is facing a mounting caseload of applications from foreign nationals seeking to enter the United States or to adjust status. The FBI, of course, does background checks, uh, but uh, our, uh, there is a huge backlog, as you know. Um, what technologies or resources can Congress secure for the FBI to ensure that it's able to timely process applications without compromising the safety and security of the American people? Uh, this is a problem that, I've, that I have discussed with the director. Uh, you're talking about uh, background checks, individuals from other countries. Uh, it does take us a long time in some cases because of the fact where it requires us to get information and records from other countries. Uh, I know that the director is focused on trying to get additional uh, resources, additional individuals, maybe contract work out to help, to help in this, uh, in, in this uh, endeavor. Uh, and so he's also looking at, at new t computer system technology, taking advantage of, of technology. Well, let me just interrupt here because of the time. What, I mean, there's a huge backlog. It shouldn't exist. Do we need to provide additional resources, Congress? I don't know whether or not additional resources are required by, from the Congress. I do know that additional resources within the Bureau uh, have to be focused on this issue, and it may be. You know, the, I, the director may come to me and say, well, if we do that, we're not going to be able to protect America the way from terrorism the way we, we ought to be in, in, in other areas. And so uh, I, I don't know the answer to that, but certainly more resources are necessary. They, we may already have the resources within the Bureau. I suspect the director will say no. We, we need to know if there's something else we can do because you cannot compromise security and we cannot tolerate the long backlogs that currently exist. So something needs to give here. And if it is that we need more resources, Congress needs to be advised. Let me quickly, uh, while I have just a second, ask one final question. Uh, U.S. Customs and Border uh, Protection at DHS reports that 16 percent of foreign nationals apprehended illegally crossing the southern border have criminal histories. That's about 140,000 individuals in the year 2005. Uh, and if that's not alarming enough, DOJ and the GAO indicate that criminal aliens in the U.S. are rearrested on an average of six to eight times per offender, which puts a huge um, strain on, on both federal, state, and local law enforcement officers, prosecutors, courts, and, and our jails. Is the Department of Justice undertaking any initiatives with DHS to proactively identify and prosecute and remove criminal aliens? And here again, is there any authority or resource that Congress needs to provide to DOJ to assist in the prosecution of these criminal aliens? I think that quite candidly, Senator, if you were to talk to uh, my border U.S. attorneys, they would say we need more resources. And so we're always looking at ways to try to f find those resources within the existing budget. Obviously, the president has to consider a number of priorities with respect uh, to the budget that he submits to the Congress. And the Congress, of course, ultimately makes the decisions as to where those pr priorities uh, should come out. But uh, we're having to be smart. We're trying to have to be more efficient. But it does present, are, it has are, presented some challenges for us. In effect, Mr. Chairman, do I just do one follow-up question? In effect, are you saying <coughs> Go ahead. Um, you understand the President's budget priorities and needs all across the government, but if more resources could be made available to you, you could certainly take advantage of them? You could certainly use them? We certainly would put them to good use. Of course, of course you're also aware of the President said if we put him money in there beyond what he's asked for, he'll veto the bill. 